All right, so right now we're on our way to um, Swat Swatera Creek. Um, we're actually going to the headwaters of the Swatera Creek, sort of in central PA. The headwaters happen to have native brook trout, I think. So we're gonna go check that out. We're going to Ravine, PA, which is a small little, I don't even know if it's a town, but it's a small something. Um, we're gonna go up there to try to see if we can get some brook trout. This is a terrible introduction, but we're gonna go with it. Um, so once we get up there, we're gonna throw our waders on. It's like the middle of the day, did not get an early start. It's super overcast. It's like 50 something degrees, not really that nice. It was raining a little bit earlier. Don't have good, good feelings about this, but we're gonna do it anyways. So we're gonna get up to the Swatera Creek, uh, the headwaters, and we're gonna try to catch some uh, native Brookie Brook trout. Let's see how this goes. So we just found access at this kind of shady looking trucker gas station slash Burger King. So we parked here on the side. I think the creek's right down there. So we're gonna try to get down there and see if we can get some brookies without getting shanked. Yep, this is great. All right, so I finally, uh, I finally made it down here to the creek. If you're like me and you're from uh, like the Harrisburg area, you kind of know the Swatera Creek as kind of slow moving, kind of gross, a lot of like fall fish and maybe some bass. Um, but that's where it goes through farmlands. It gets some agricultural runoff up here in the mountains. Uh, it's much smaller, much, much colder, much cleaner. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna fish uh, up through here and hopefully we will smack a couple brook trout when I get to the first good pool. I'll let you know, I don't have a lot of space on my memory card, so I gotta be uh, real tight with my shots here. So I'll let you know when I get to something cool. Just found a nice little stretch in here. Rapids up there, some deeper, deeper water right here. I'm throwing, actually, I'm not throwing a 1 16th ounce, I'm throwing a 1 24th ounce spinner. Um, just cause the, the, you know, it's a little shallow right now. The creek is not very high, it's kind of narrow. So I didn't want to throw a big profile and make a big splash. The only thing that sucks is I cannot cast as far with this. Oh, jeez. Uh, needless to say, the rocks are incredibly slippery in this area, so I'm having. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, nice brookie, dang. Got him, got him, got him. Dang, real nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, wow. Really nice for the first brook trout of the day. Dang, look at that guy. Ooh, holy crap, he's thick. He's a, he's a plumpy. Dang, he's a plump. Holy crap. You gotta see this guy in my hands. He is really thick. He's only probably about eight, eight or nine inches long. Man, he is plump. He is plump. All right, we're gonna get you off, bud. Hold on, we'll get you off, we'll get you off, bud. We'll get you off. I wanna show you this guy in my hand real quick before I get him off. Ooh, man, he is feisty, hold on. Man, look at this guy. I'll get him off then, but wipe my hands. Look at this guy, dang. First of all, beautiful colors. Absolutely beautiful colors, but look how thick he is. Compared to my hand, jeez, he is thick. Dang, look at that. Dang, look at that guy, beauty. Absolute, absolute beauty. So we're gonna get this beautiful thick. Dang, he's like, he's a keeper, holy crap. All right, we got him hooked pretty good, so we're gonna try to get him off as quick as possible. Uh, once we do that, we'll keep fishing. Awesome, awesome brookie, beautiful color. So I got two nice little stretches right here, back to back, so I figured I'll risk. Oh, got him, got him. First cast, Magoo. Nice, nice medium sized brookie. Not as big as that first guy, but not a small guy either. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful colors on this guy. Let's, let's get a little look at him. He's about six inches or so. Ooh, 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 beauty, beauty. Nice, nice little guy. Look at him in my hand right there. Mm -mm -mm. Nice little, probably, probably five or six inch guy. So. We're gonna get him, hopefully get him off of here very soon. Got him off, but a boom. 
We're gonna get him right, right back in the water, right back in his home, and he's gone. Papa New Guinea, very nice. Uh, just got another little guy. Another little guy. Found this little pool as I was following this little trail over here. Nice little, oh, I just fell. Nice little brookie brook trout, beauty. Little beauty. Hey, buddy. So we're gonna, can't really get down to the creek here, but we wanna be quick and get this guy off. So we're gonna quickly loop around here. Hopefully there's a way to get down. There's not really, but we're gonna go down anyways. So we just got him in this little hole right here. We wanna get him off as soon as we can. Say thanks for joining us, but let's get you home. More little look at this guy. Mm -mm, probably nice, nice five inch or nothing crazy. I got, ho hold on bud, come on, come on. Trying to get better at getting these off without pliers. Pliers do make it significantly easier, but I just want to get better at getting them off without it. Because sometimes, someday I'm going to forget my pliers or they're going to fall in the water. All right, let's get, get this little guy back in. See you, buddy. And he's gone. He's gone. We're just getting up to the confluence of two little rapid areas and some deeper water, so I'm thinking this looks like a really good place for a brook trout. So I'm gonna stop and turn the camera on, which I did, and I'm gonna cast out, which I am doing. Um, ooh, nice, oh my gosh. Oh, got him, got him, got him, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one, really nice. Oh, gosh darn it. It's a big fall fish, son of a gun. Oh man, if I wasn't a sporting man, I would just throw this guy into the woods for a raccoon, but oh, I don't wanna touch him, ugh. God, all right, we're gonna get this gross guy off and then go from there. All right, so we just got off that monster fall fish, which I, oh, got him, got him, got him. That's another big one, hopefully that's not a fall fish. Oh no, fish gods rewarded me, yes. Instead of throwing that uh, fall fish like into the woods so it doesn't compete with the brook trout, I threw him right back in and I'm rewarded on the next cast with a really nice, oh my gosh, this is probably the best of the day color wise. Jeez, look at the blues around the halo of this guy. Look at, look at the freaking blues on the halo of this guy. Look at those blues, holy crap. It's absolutely gorgeous fish and if you see him in my hand, Jeez, he's got to be like, dang, he's got to be like nine, nine or so inches. Look at this guy. Jeez. Look at this guy. In, look at this guy in both my hands, which are both wet, getting some water on him. Look at this guy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll get you off. We'll get you off. We'll get you off, bud. We'll get you off. All right, let me get you off here. And we got him off. One more, one more look at this guy. Get some water on him. Beauty, beaut, he's a beaut, he's a beaut. We're gonna get him, look at this guy. Big, monster, flip him over, monster, monster trout. Look at this guy, jeez, jeez, plumper. Get him right back in the water and he's gone. He's gone, he's back to his home. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Woo! Just found this kind of deep, pool area over here oh oh something big just swiped at it oh my gosh oh geez oh geez Whew. man I just got the chills something big I don't know if it was a big piece of shit fall fish but oh that looked like a fall fish dang it you can tell it's a fall fish because their underbelly will be silver as opposed to the Beautiful, noble colors of a brook trout. Um, still saw one that was even bigger than that one. So I'm gonna try casting out maybe one or two. Darn it. Oh! Oh, there's so many so many things going after it. I think that's a, dang it, that's a, that's a fall guy. He popped off, I don't even care. I'm glad he popped off. Gosh, I hate fall fish. It is like, no joke. See, I'm like, I'm literally like re retrieving it fast enough so they can't catch it. I 
absolutely abhor abhor fall fish so we're gonna keep moving this little guy real quick little update this is the best thing you want to see i've seen trout here up to 10 inches six or seven inches and now finger lens at like three inches so that is an excellent although this is a really small guy i love catching these because that's an excellent indicator that not only was the stream healthy a year ago two years ago when those other trout were born but right now the the uh stream is healthy we'll get you back in here bud right back in and he gone he's gone excellent 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 well probably for the best just had a real big one plop off um i didn't have the camera on got him right to shore and right as i was fiddle fiddle farting around with the gopro plopped off so that's that's one problem with uh, angling with the gopro you prioritize the footage over the act of catching and that's how you get burned right there so just missed a nice one great yeah, where are the brook trout? This is this is a, a really nice stretch, but I am getting no love, no bites, no nothing. So, yeah, this this may be all she wrote for me. Um. All right, yeah, I mean, I'll probably head back up to the car and call it a day. If I find one more little spot, I'll try it, but not looking good for me. Oh, got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him, got him, got him. Oh, and it's a brookie, very nice. I think that's number five or six here in a very short amount of time, just like an hour. Literally, we've only been here for like an hour. Got another nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brookie brook trout. So we're gonna get this guy off. Show you him in my hand real quick. Ooh, 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 careful, careful, careful. Show you him in my hand real quick. Very nice, another, another beauty, another beaut. We'll get him off with our hands quick. Oh, he's off. He's off. See you later, bud. Have a good rest of the day. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so we might call today there. I might try to fish one or two more holes. If not, that'll, that'll be it. All right, so we just got up to the road. We're heading back to the car. We went about a mile, mile and a half, maybe two miles. Um, got five brook trout total up to 12 inches. Got a car going by, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah! Wow. Thank you for slowing down while I'm walking on the side of the road. Anyway, so we got five brookies up to like, probably like 10 inches, which is really nice for this size creek. Um, we're now gonna walk back to the car, call it a day. Um, but yeah, really excellent fishing. The headwaters of um, the Swatera Creek. Uh, up here in ravine so i hope you enjoy watching beautiful brookies up here beautiful fall day foliage fall foliage all right 